subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel iphone 8 versus iphone 10s speed test a week or so ago we did the 8 plus versus the 10s max let's see how the small boys do next to each other beginning with a boot up in three two one now apple did talk about how if you have like an iphone 7 8 or 6 coming to a 10s is about the same size body with just more screen so you can see basically that that's kind of true uh the iphone 8 a little bit smaller but if you are coming from this device it'll be right at home in terms of the size in the hand but you will have a different experience because there's more screen so you do have to reach a little bit higher for the 10s but you can see that the iphone 8 with the a11 bionic chipset boots up first over the 10s okay so let's quickly test touch id versus face id now on the iphone 8 it's like the fastest touch id you can get on a smartphone it just feels super quick you can see to respond and you don't really have to look at anything you actually don't have to do that at all it's just a very fast efficient unlock process here and you can do this all day it just seems to respond instantly for a touch id so there's the iphone 8 so face id is also fast here for the 10s but i just don't find it to be as quick to use as touch id because you don't even you can just pull the the phone out of the pocket and already be in by just hitting touch id without even looking at the phone so i still find touch id to be a little bit more faster and efficient than face id but face id is a lot more secure so here we are at the app speed test portion of this video now this has the a11 bionic chipset a12 bionic on the right four gigabytes of ram two gigabytes of ram for the eight so you do go up in ram and you do go up in processor let's see if this makes a difference also the gpu is improved let's go into instagram three two one and you could see instagram loads first there for the iphone 10s let's hit the profile page and a little bit to the 10s just milliseconds though go into the phone and you could see right there about the same though so overall i don't think you come into instagram is going to be too much of a difference here if you do do this upgrade let's go into twitter three two one and you could see twitter does open first here for the right that's the right on the iphone 10s let's go over here to this page you can see the eight responds a little bit first and just scrolling through a very similar experience now the 120 hertz sample rate for the 10s is definitely felt it feels a little bit more responsive to respond to your presses so i think you will notice that but in terms of just speed i don't see too much of a difference let's go into snapchat you can see that the 10s a little bit ahead let's go into youtube three two one and you can see youtube on the right let's go into trending and you could see right there that they did load that very similarly and you can see scrolling through just fine on both let's head over into prime video three two one see which one can get to watching video first and you can see that was pretty close i think it was the eight slightly let me know down below that's it jaws and you could see very close performance on pretty much everything we're doing so far let's go into pinterest and you can see pinterest is open first on the right and there comes the iphone 8 let's go into amazon but coming from an iphone 8 to an iphone 10s you're going to notice a very different way to operate this system let's go to deal of the day here for amazon and you could see that the 10s looks to be slightly ahead not too much but slightly ahead let's go into ebay 321 and see how ebay performs here you can see ebay is ahead there for the 10s and again very close performance no matter what you're doing let's go into spotify three two one and you can see that's a win to the 10s coming out of there let's go into some games now okay we had to do a little jump cut there let's go into subway surfers three two one and see which one gets into this game first and it should be the 10s and you can see it jumps ahead boom there goes the iphone 10s let me make sure the volume gets down on these devices and let's see which one can get into that game first three two one and you can see they play very similarly on both graphics are good on both of these devices let's go into jetpack joyride and you could see even in this casual game the 10s with the win so not bad let's go into dead trigger two three two one and see which one can open up dead trigger two first you could see that is the 10s on the right and there is the iphone 8 let's go ahead and just play them a little bit so you can kind of see the difference in the graphics and you could see super smooth here for the 10s 
no biggie so you will enjoy this it's almost console quality graphics i mean it's not like xbox one console but it's getting there let's go into the iphone 8 and let's see what happens here you can see about the same graphics here but the lcd display is not as punchy as the oled display for gaming and it's a little bit smaller but you do have some bezels here to hold on when you are gaming so let's head into pubg mobile and i'll be back when these are done loading All right, so they both arrived at the match screen at about similar time, but the tennis was ahead. So the tennis is slightly improved in gaming. It's not nothing that's going to be like life changing. If you're a gamer, you will get a little bit better battery life due to better efficiency. But this is not a reason to just buy another phone just because of gaming, because most games will run just fine and fast and efficient, just like they will on the 10s on the 8. Okay, so that's the first round of apps. You can see that the iPhone 8 kept up pretty much in every area, but the 10s was slightly snappier and it feels a little smoother. Let's go through some multitasking to see if we get any reloads here for the iPhone 8 and doesn't look like it so far. Oh, there we go on Pinterest. There's a reload. Let's go into Amazon and you can see a little stutter there on Amazon. So here is where that two gigabytes of RAM might not give you the same type of multitasking. Reload there for Subway Surfers for the iPhone 8. You can see Jetpack ready and dead trigger with the reload. So yes, the two gigabytes of RAM to the four is a definite upgrade. PUBG, okay, PUBG doing some weird stuff, but PUBG was about where it was. So let's go into the iPhone XS now to see how this one does. You can see Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and I don't expect this to have maybe Pinterest, but I don't expect it to really have a bunch of reloads. Pinterest does reload. Amazon, eBay. Let's go into Spotify. Now remember the iPhone 8 did struggle a little bit when it comes to the game. So let's see if we get anything here. And nope, let's go into Jetpack Joyride. Nope, dead trigger. Nope, see that's where that four gigabytes of RAM can just hold more in memory. And PUBG, even better here for the 10s so i think the 10s is the better multitasking phone you will have a little bit better ram management so if you're doing a ton of multitasking day to day it is a nice upgrade to the 10s okay so here we are with an internet browsing test let's see which one is faster we're gonna hit go three two and one you can see that the iphone 10s was fast there let's hit this link you can see about the same here for apple.com so let's head over to yahoo.com three two and go See which one gets there first that's the 10s again and you can see scrolling and pinch to zooming very similar here on both devices and lastly let's head over to the nick ackerman channel.com in three two one and you can see that is the iphone 10s with the clear win there so it looks like the 10s is just a little bit snappier in a lot of things but it's like so slight that it's probably not going to make a huge difference in the real world experience but it is slightly snappier with four gigabytes of ram that will hold more apps in memory all right guys so let's go ahead and hit save video on this 4k clip save video and see which one can render out first so let's hit 4k three two one and see what happens here they're both exporting this movie this is only a 30 second clip so it shouldn't take long on either but you can see that the iphone 10s does have a significant lead over that of the iphone 8 so far so here's where you're really testing that raw cpu power here in the iphone 10s and it's definitely got the win here over the iphone 8 so if you're going to be doing things like this and you're using multiple clips together the iphone 10s should be significantly faster to render out a video for example and you've seen it was faster in gaming as well so this is where the true performance lies in the upgrade department you can see the iphone 10s with the finish and here comes the iphone 8 now the iphone 8 is very respectable it's faster than most other phones but it's just not faster than the 10s in this regard okay so the final geekbench scores are in and you can see that the iphone 10s with the win but not by so much it's you know significantly better on the multi-core but in the single core where you probably are going to spend most of your time just opening apps day to day it's not a big difference but it's still a difference so it is a faster phone overall than the iphone 8. so that's it between the iphone 8 and the iphone 10s if you were contemplating an upgrade at least in terms of performance it is an upgrade there 
but I would justify this upgrade more in the other areas like you're going from this older more steel design to this more modern design some people don't like the notch and if you don't like that stay put until Apple gets you know that notch off of the display but that's probably not happening anytime soon right now so this is what you're currently working with I also would look at this to an upgrade for the cameras it would be a nice upgrade from the iPhone 8 coming to these cameras because a small phone has dual cameras the small iPhone 8 only has one camera here but if you're looking to save a buck I would consider waiting for the iPhone 10R as we will be comparing the 8 to that device as well so you might want to be subscribed for that if you found this video helpful entertaining informing enjoying do me a favor click that like button for me be sure to be well